ओके एवरीवन सो नाउ वी आर लर्निंग द जावा जावा वाज डेवलप्ड बाय सन माइक्रो सिस्टम इन 1991 देयर वर वेरियस पीपल हु डेवलप्ड द जावा बट आउट ऑफ दैट देयर वाज अ पर्सन नेम्ड जेम्स घोसलिन दैट गिवन द नेम फर्स्टली एज ओक सो ओरिजिनली द नेम ऑफ जावा वाज ओक व्हिच वाज गिवन बाय जेम्स घोसलिन जेम्स घोसलिन वाज द पर्सन हु गिवन द नेम ओक that's why if somebody asks that who is the developer of java so people say that it is the james goslin and in 1991 the java was developed into sun microsystems and in 1995 it was renamed with java java is derived from two languages the first language is c and second one is c++ java derive its syntax from c language and java also support object oriented programming so java derives its oop feature from c++ the syntax of java is derived from c programming and the oops feature are taken from c++ that's why the java is derived from c and c++ here we are having oop feature which is called object oriented programming in the object oriented programming we are having four features the first feature is abstraction abstraction means hiding the data when we are hiding the unnecessary data from the user that is called abstraction let's say we are using some facebook here we are having likes let's say 1 million likes but where those likes are stored what is that variable where the likes are storing user is not aware about that so that is the data hiding which is coming from abstraction let us suppose we are having a car When we purchase the car we only aware about the steering wheel and we are aware about how the brake work how the controls work that's it we are not aware about that how the wires are going in the engine how the brakes are applied so we are not aware about that so that means this data is hidden from the user so this is the abstraction means hiding the unnecessary data and showing the necessary data to the user is called abstraction the next feature is encapsulation wrapping up of data members and members function inside the class is called encapsulation when inside the class we are having the variables as well as the functions together that is called the encapsulation the third feature is inheritance inheritance provide reusability let us suppose that we are having some class that class complete feature we are going to derive into the another class that is called the inheritance let's say if i am going to design a window there is already a code which is present for let's say clock that clock code i am taking into that means already available code i am taking that is called inheritance let's say i need a start menu that code is already available i am taking so taking the existing code into another is called inheritance The fourth feature is polymorphism. When we are having one name into many form, that is called the polymorphism. Poly means one, more means multiple, phys means form. One thing into many form is called polymorphism. Let's say if I am going to use a function which is named sum, it is going to make the sum of two. Let's say a comma b. Similarly, the same name I am using for making the sum of Three, let's say a comma b comma c. So here the name sum is same. This is called polymorphism. Whenever a language support all the four feature, which is abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism, that is called object-oriented programming or OOP. Because of all these four features, the Java is object-oriented programming language. The most important feature of Java is that Java is platform independent language or it is also called platform neutral language. Java is called platform independent or platform neutral the reason is that it can run on any hardware any OS or the platform. This is the feature because of Java is most popular in all the languages. It can run on any hardware We know that in the hardware we are having is the primary memory and the secondary memory. Primary memory we are having is the RAM, and secondary memory we are having is the hard disk. 
and today we are having is the SSD. Similarly, if you talk about the operating system, in the operating system we are having is the Windows, Mac, and Linux. So if you are designing a code in Java, let's say in Windows, so that code can run in Mac, it can run in Linux, Solaris, Ubuntu, every operating system it can work. Means you are designing a code in Java in one operating system, it can work everywhere. Similarly, any RAM, the RAM can be of 8 GB, 4 GB, 2 GB, doesn't matter. Any hard disk, it is SSD, it may be 512 GB, 1 TB, any hard disk, it can work. That means it is platform independent. Platform is not required, means there is no specification of a platform. That's why Java is very popular. Let's assume you are designing a game in window. That game can work in your mobile, in your laptop, in iOS, in Linux, everywhere that game will work. So that's why the Java is very popular because of platform independent language. Java is having a slogan that write once and run anywhere. Because Java code can work on any OS or any hardware. It is platform independent. That's why it can run anywhere. So we are writing a code once, maybe in window, and that code can work everywhere. Java is a language that is derived from C and C++. So when the Java was designed, the problems of C and C++ was removed in Java. In C and C++ there was various problems. Just like we was having the pointer. We know that the pointer is used to store the memory address. Let us suppose that we have make a program and that program let's assume we are running on the user mobile. We know that whenever we are having some kind of mobile phone or any device that is having the memory. Let's say in the program we are having is the pointer which is pointing to the user memory. In the memory there can be possibility that user is having some private data. Now the pointer is accessing that private data because pointer can have the address of any memory. So that means it is a security breach. So to avoid such thing the pointer concept is removed from Java. In the Java we don't have the pointer means if we don't have the pointer we cannot access the user memory. So here the memory access is only possible if the program is authorized. If the program is not authorized it cannot access the user memory. So that's why the Java programs are safe. In C++ we have multiple inheritance. We know that whenever we are having two classes, let's say we are having is a class 1 and class 2. From these two classes, if we are driving a new class, which is class 3, which is accessing the data of class 1 and class 2, that is called the multiple inheritance. Inside the C++, when the multiple inheritance was there, let us suppose that C1 means class 1 have the variable i, let's say some value of i, maybe 5. And class 2 have let's say variable i and that value is 7. At that time the derived class C3 was confused that which value of i I should take. So because of that he was having the virtual functions. But in Java that confusion is not there because Java don't support multiple inheritance. So that type of confusion is not available with Java. In C, C++ we have go to statement. We know that whenever we make a program in C and C++ and we are using the go to statement, then program can jump anywhere. Let's say go to end. Now from there go to beginning. Let's say from there go to middle. Now it was very unreliable and even it was very complex to read that program. Here the programmer cannot determine the flow of program because program is jumping here and there. The program is very unreliable and it is very difficult to debug such kind of program where we are using the go to statement. So because of that the go to statement is removed from Java. So here in Java we don't have go to. Go to is the unconditional jump and unconditional jump is not available in Java. In C, C++ we have user defined data type which is structure and union. They are depending upon user. 
बट हेयर इन जावा दीज थिंग्स आर नॉट सपोर्टिंग नो स्ट्रक्चर नो यूनियन इन सी सी प्लस प्लस वी हैव ग्लोबल वेरिएबल वी नो दैट द ग्लोबल वेरिएबल आर द वेरिएबल विच एवरीबडी कैन एक्सेस एवरीबडी कैन चेंज देयर वैल्यू बट इन जावा सच प्रोविजन इज नॉट देयर बिकॉज जावा इज वेरी सिक्योर एंड इट जस्ट टेक द कंप्लीट प्राइवेसी so here global variable concept is not there into the java in c c++ we have pre processor packages in the c and c++ we can simply say that hash define this is the pre processor package where we are defining let's say if i am defining let's say max so wherever that max will be there its value will be 50 so such type of pre processor packages are there but here in java that is not available means that hash pre processive directive is not available so here such type of pre processor we don't have in java in c++ we have templates but here in java we don't have the templates so we can say that java has removed all the problems of c and c++ we may think that java is the replacement of c++ no java is not a replacement of c++ the reason is that the java is not replacement of c++ because these both are designed for the different different purpose they solve different set of problems so in java all the problems of c and c++ are removed but still java is not a replacement of c++ reason is that both are for the different set of problems java is popular in the market because of its feature which is platform independent java is independent from hardware that means it can run on any ram any hard disk and it can also work on any operating system just like it can work on window mac linux solaris ubuntu everywhere So if you are designing a code in Java it can run anywhere because of that Java is very popular so that is all about the Java